take a look at this guy there. Isn't he something? He goes out and about and he gets dropped into these barren, inhospitable places and then makes a show out of finding his way back to civilization and surviving on the way there. Which is quite impressive, I would say, you know, and um, kudos to him for doing this. But in all fairness, you know, am I really that impressed? You know, obviously, if I were to get dropped in that sort of a situation, I don't think I'd last very long, even if I'd actually watched his programs. But, in all fairness, now that is not the situation in which I have found myself for the last 45 years. I got dropped onto this planet. And then, I managed to somehow stick around for 45 years. And I must say I've done pretty well. I'm surrounded by wild human beings, most of the time. When I need food, I have the ability and the resources to get my hands on it. When I am not feeling well, I have the ability and the resources to find in my environment the substances that I need to make me feel better. I can treat my injuries. And if not, I can access resources that help me treat my inju injuries, such as, for example, hospitals. I am even in the quite happy position that I can afford to indulge in things that I simply want to do because I want to do them, because I think they're fun to do. So I don't have to spend a hundred percent of my waking time eking out an existence barely scraping by either. I am doing quite well for myself. I am comfortable. I am living in a level of luxury and so on and so forth. I have done very well for myself for over 45 years on this planet. Now that is survival for you. Now don't get me wrong. That guy can survive in places where I wouldn't last a minute. Good for him. But part of a successful survival strategy is avoid to avoid finding yourself in places like that. Nor am I beating my own drum. Because you, watching this video, have been as successful as I have in achieving this. You don't need to watch ads. So, well done to you too. And the best thing about it is that I, and I would hope so, you, have achieved all this without ever having to drink your own piss.